pretty hot. That's sizzling. <laughs> Four years ago, we bought five acres of bare land to build our dream house. Till that happened, we called all 19 feet of this tiny RV home. Zero luxuries. Barely had enough space to live. Cabin fever. So if we were gonna stick this out for the next few years, we were gonna have to get creative. We cut down some trees bought a chainsaw mill, made our own lumber, and built a deck with a sweet view to have a place to unwind. And you know what would be even cooler? If it had a wood-fired cowboy hot tub on it. Yes, now we're talking. We found a party-sized stock tank and an old truck radiator when we realized, <laughs> hold up, that's hella ghetto. We need ourselves a real hot tub. Naturally, we traded our stock tank for a GoPro and got ourselves materials for a hot tub that would end up being featured in magazines for years to come. We scored some decent cedar lumber for a great price, but we were gonna need a little magic to turn all of this into a hot tub. We had some ideas, and good thing, because luxury on a budget requires ninja skills. The sides of the hot tub are made up of staves. Rule number one, no holes or knots in your staves. We got to work surgically removing knots and blemishes and were left with gorgeous, clear wood at a fraction of the cost. Our toolbox was basically a laugh, so we found someone to cut canoe joints in the staves for us. bit of touch up and we were on to the next step. We then had to put dado joints in the bottom of the staves to support the floor. We did have the tools to do that. In a ninja-like fashion, of course. Floors can't have holes in them either. Some pixie dust, and we made all the holes disappear.
Ratchet. Cut. Glue. Ratchet. Let cure. hot and leak free. Time to put this whole contraption together. Carefully tap each stave onto the floor, but easy does it. Things are fragile at this stage. aircraft cable and turny doohickey thingies to cinch things up. But where do you sit? We made a hexagon bench with one side missing to accommodate the submersible stove. up the tub was awful. We're kicking this off in three, two, one. I know. More water. More water in. That's the answer. Turns out you need some serious water to get things seriously sealed up. Something we didn't have much of. We were carrying water to our property in seven gallon jugs, and the tub was leaking quicker than we could fill it. Suddenly, our first water system was born. Who needs long showers? We have a hot tub to fill.
By some dumb luck, a friend of a friend had a used hot tub stove that he was willing to sell us. Installing it was a breeze, and we were so excited to light our first fire. Having our very own wood-fired hot tub has been a dream come true, soaking on cool nights or after a long day of work. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty hot. That's sizzling. <laughs> that dream home finally happened, by the way. And on starry nights, we admire what we built from the tub as the warm glow of the lights inside peeked through the windows. Yeah, life's pretty rough. At the time, this project seemed pretty crazy, but we can now say that it's one of the best ideas we've ever had.